let's now talk about some other common process analysis tools other than value stream maps. A procedure is a document that specifies the way to perform an activity. It is highly advantageous to include the operator in the development of a procedure. Procedures not only outline the steps needed to complete an activity, they also create a checks and balances system from which there can be documentation, verification, validation, and as needed, corrective action and preventative action. These are all deployed to create a closed loop around a set of activities. Procedures promote uniformity and consistency. From the organization standpoint, as they seek to satisfy customers, this can be highly desirable. Procedures describe the process at a general level. Work instructions provide detail and a step-by-step -step sequence of activities. The use of flowcharts can be highly instructive. Like procedures, work instructions are considered controlled documents. They should be current and available through a standardized means of access. Ensure you utilize workers involved in the process to assist in framing the work instruction. How we word things and use terminology should be aligned in the actual process. Descriptive visual aids can be useful as well. Spaghetti diagrams can be useful in describing the flow of people, information, or material. They are not as detailed or informative as value stream maps, but they can be useful in seeing the sequence and interaction as well as the likely future path. The example shown here shows the many possible paths of a weather disturbance. I am sure you have all seen these diagrams when you look at the latest information on where a hurricane will make landfall. Each path is based on a mathematical probability model. It is a range of possible outcomes in finite combinations based on likelihood and available information. Circle diagrams are useful when trying to understand the relationship between work elements in order to optimize activities. This Venn diagram illustrates relationships between events. In this case, there is an overlap between cleaning and pretreat, as well as pretreat and coding. Shipping is mutually exclusive of all activities. Note that each activity has a percent utilization. We can then determine how much of an eight hour shift is truly being used. We find that 89% of a shift or 7.12 hours is utilized. This leaves us with 52.8 minutes of idle time. Once we factor in breaks and other factors, we can determine if more tasks can be added. Gimba walks are known as waste walks. Members of management will regularly walk the floor looking for signs of waste and opportunities for improvement. Gimba walks also give management the opportunity to learn about problems directly from the employee. In addition to waste and efficiency, housekeeping and potential safety issues can be noted. In many organizations, Gimba walks occur weekly but the frequency can vary.